So at AGU this year, I actually have an invited talk, which is exciting. And it's about beaver engineering in the Arctic. So they used to be more or less confined to the boreal forest. Now they're moving into the tundra. In Alaska, they're almost on the Arctic coast. Uh, well, they're on the, the Bering Strait, right? So they're all the way out to Shishmaref on, in Western Alaska, they're all the way out to Kotzebue. This is just in the last 20 or 30 years. And they're at the continental divide of the Brooks Range. And the Brooks Range in the east it extends almost to the Arctic coast in the far northeast corner of Alaska. So there's beaver ponds on some of those north flowing rivers like the Congacut. The sort of light bulb moment for me was when I realized that we could actually detect beavers moving into and out of the Arctic by watching the formation and disappearance of beaver ponds in satellite imagery through time. And that was just exciting because all of a sudden we had a way to like track this wildlife movement. The most surprising thing we've learned is the scale of the change. If you look down the road 20 years or 50 years, what the Arctic looks like in a given place is going to depend in a lot of ways on whether or not beavers have got there. So there are all these other changes taking place, but you know, uh, a stream as wide as my office that just kind of winds its way through the tundra is a much different place than sort of a sprawling wetland that has all these beaver dams.